Hello friends, welcome to Technique and in this video we are going to do an FAQ on the Moto G5 S Plus. So there are a lot of queries we are getting on the Moto G5 S Plus including the sensors, uh, the LED notification, the benchmark score and a lot of things we are getting. So in this video we will talk about uh, the FAQ on the Moto G5 S Plus. So let's start the FAQ video. First let's talk about the sensors on this device. So you could see that uh, this device comes with all the sensors, accelerometer, gyroscope, light sensor, proximity sensor. It has NFC but one thing is which is missing on this device is a compass sensor. So similar to the G5 plus, the G5 S plus also does not come with a compass sensor. Now next step let's talk about the display. So this phone comes uh, with a, a 2.5D glass, it's a 5.5 inch Full HD 1080p resolution display and the display quality looks pretty good and there is also Corning Gorilla Glass support. On the display the touch response also feels quite good. Next up the SIM cards. Now the phone comes with dual SIM cards but uh, there is uh, a micro SD card support but unlike the Moto G5 uh, plus uh, this does not come with a dedicated micro SD card instead it's a hybrid SIM card that's kind of weird because Moto has been uh, 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 advertising in most of their devices that uh, it does come with uh, uh, I mean the Moto devices does come with a dedicated slot but here we have Moto G5 S plus which does not come with a dedicated SD card it has an hybrid SIM card and uh, this comes uh, with 4G LTE and Volte support so you can see that we are using a geo sim card and there is 4g lt and also volte calling update we have tested this and did not find any issues with the volte but uh, the moto g5 plus did have this volte issue we also uh, did a video on that but here we couldn't see any sort of issues with the volte Next step, uh, the phone comes with a uh, 64 gigabyte storage. Uh, we have uh, uh, 64. There is only one variant available, and there is 64 gigabyte storage. And out of which, around uh, close to 51 gigabyte is available to the user in the first boot. So that should be good enough uh, for most of the users. Now talking about the fingerprint scanner, yes this phone does come with fingerprint scanner, you can see this is the fingerprint scanner located and uh, this does a good job altogether. You can, so you can also use the fingerprint scanner to uh, sleep the device, so you can wake up the device also using the fingerprint scanner, so it does a good job altogether. You can uh, use the fingerprint scanner for one button now that's multitasking, if you just swipe here you can get uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, recent uh, apps and if you just swipe here you can go to the back button, so that's the available option on this device. Now talking about the software, this phone comes with stock UI, it has Android 7.1.1, uh, that's the latest version and uh, it will be getting the next version of, of Android Oreo as well, so uh, that's uh, the typical Moto interface, so no major changes other than that. You also get the Moto app uh, which comes with Moto Actions, uh, there are some uh, chop to twice flashlight, uh, twist to cube capture, uh, swipe to shrink screen, so these are the options available and there is also Moto display which comes with night display and also the Moto display and uh, the motor display uh, provides you with uh, notifications and there is no uh, LED notification on this device so uh, if you uh, if you are a person who wants LED notification this is this device does not provide that instead it comes uh, with the motor display so once you configure the motor display uh, you can uh, see notifications arriving on the display itself so no LED notifications are included on this device now the phone comes uh, with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 625 chipset, 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage and it does a good job altogether in terms of the performance. Next up the battery. This phone comes with a 3000 mAh battery so there is no upgrade in terms of the battery performance and it also comes with turbo charging so uh, with a charge of around 15 minutes uh, the company claims that you get a 6 hours of talk time with the Moto G5 S Plus. So next up let's talk about the speaker. So this uh, device does come with uh, speakers mounted at the bottom panel. It has micro USB charging slot, no USB C type port and the speaker quality is quite good. We'll just play our video and uh, show you how good the quality is. So that is the speaker test. Now let's uh, have a look at the USB OTG functionality. Yes, this device does come with OTG support. You can connect your hard disk, pen drive and other accessories to this device using the OTG cable. So remember this device comes with micro USB OTG cable support. Uh, there is no C type port so you have to get the USB uh, uh, micro USB uh, OTG cable for this device. Now if you are a person who is interested in the benchmark score, here is the antitude score of uh, the Moto G5 S Plus 64872, almost similar to what we have seen on the Moto G5 uh, Plus as well, so you can see the independent uh, scores as well. 
And finally, where to buy this device? It is available exclusively on Amazon for a pricing of 15 rupees line, that's 16,000 rupees in India. And you can buy it uh, uh, from Amazon. This is uh, not available as a part of flash sales. You can buy it anytime and comes in two variants, the gold color and also the Luna gray variant. So that was a 15 point FAQ on the Moto G5 S Plus. Hope this video was useful. If you still have any questions, drop in a comment. We'll be glad to help you out with your questions. So thanks for watching. Hope this video was useful. Do hit the like button and also hit the red subscribe button for more videos. Have a great day.